Okay, give me just a moment here. Gonna pop out. Okay, give me just a moment here. Whoops. Yeah. And. Bidding, bidding, bidding. And skadoosh. Okay, good evening, everyone. And uh, I'd just like to say tonight, I'm not sculpting a miniature per se. I'm using my my sculpting and geometry. I'm using my sculpting geometry to make a uh, goblet for someone in honor of his friends who are, of all things, an acrobat troop. Now. I've already done part of it. I've gotten the pose approved and all that, and we're going to be sculpting the details tonight. Carlton? Carlton? Can you tell them to uh, subscribe and press the like button and all that, and the, and the hit the bell icon? Carlton? Carlton? I'm going to have to put you on the floor. Get your head out of my mouth. <laughs> Anyway, also the uh, any cubic photon here, outstanding for a minute. Let me put you down, little fur ball, okay? Because I gotta get into the broadcast. Okay, down on the floor you go. All right, go shoot. And while I'm thinking about it. All right, now, like I said, tonight we're going to be sculpting a goblet. Now, these particular individuals, well, they've got a kind of a standard stage outfit that they, they've got, and that's what I'm going to be sculpting, the, uh, them, sculpting them wearing. But before I actually do them, I'm going to be adding a little bit of detail to both the base and the bowl of the goblet. So before we do that, let's go ahead and... Uh, Kick from here to, yay, here. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and show you what the whole of the goblet will look like. This is just rough sketch. This is just a rough overview. Obviously, they'll be kind of characterized, and uh, their expressions are not going to be what you see. There's a little peg that will be how the uh, how he adheres. He'll obviously probably be also glued to where his feet are. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hide these guys. We're going to start off the base. We're going to subdivide it a few times. Lower. And then we're going to Dynamesh 1024. Click. Okay, now I'm going to hide the bowl, just so I can do this, and make him visible, but make it transparent. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to click here, because I've made the surface of the base a separate object. So now... I've already set loaded an alpha and brush layer and I'm going to place the mouse here and let's just play around with okay where do we want the uh, and that is our base now what we need to do is just simply go here to Z plugin, Decimation Master. We're going to reduce this down to roughly, let's make it 50 50k points. Now the thing is, this will show up on an FDM printer, 
especially at the size this is going to be. This is going to be a life-size goblet. I'm going to assume that, you know, with him being that, that scale, assuming that you grab onto him around the waist and legs with these fingers, and a, another finger comes around his arms that are holding up the other two's legs, the total height of him and his buddies will be about eight and a half to nine inches. And with the base added into the top of the of the bowl, it'll be about nine and a half to ten inches. Okay, now the thing is Yes, that's pretty much all we need for the base. The next step is actually the goblet. Okay. The uh, goblet bowl, I should say. And the first thing that's going to happen here... Three, subdivide a few times. One more. Yeah. And then we're going to go to Stroke, Curve Functions, and Frame Mesh. The reason we did this is because earlier I put a split in the geometry right here to make it two different groups. And now we're going to curve tube. We're going to drop the curve size down to about here. Let's check that. How does that work? And that gives us a nice little rim on the uh, top of the bowl of the of the uh, goblet. We're now going to split that off. I'm going to click here just to get rid of the... Okay. Nope, not here yet. He may not be... The person I'm sculpting this for might not make it here. But, you know, just in case. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do with this is we're going to... Geometry, dynamash it at 1024. We want this to have a couple million polygons before we decimate it. Because we're going to be putting in some detail on it. Okay. I'm going to pull these guys up just so we can see front and back. And see where they're holding it. We're also going to turn on transparency again. Okay. Now the first thing that's going to happen is we're going to go to insert gemstone, take a couple tall diamond gems, place them, oh, no, that's, needs to be a little bit over, there we go. Now, first, we're going to scale it down somewhat like that. Then we're going to move it in a bit, so it's actually into tablet. We're going to move it in until it's... Okay. There we go. Now, we're going to, do, we're going to split on mass points. And we're going to duplicate it. We're going down to deformation, rotate Y. 90, 90. Okay, and then pull it forward until it's sticking out. Now it needs to stick out about that much. Well, let's turn off transparency for this one. Gonna pull it back just a little bit. Okay. And there we have the first fake gem. And we're gonna merge the uh gems and the rim into one. Now, has he shown up yet? 
No. Okay. We're going to do some more detailing on that later, but for right now, this is our base and goblet. Let's frame out, and it'll be time to start sculpting on Mr. Big. So we're going to hide everything else. And just this guy, geometry, dino, we're going to kind of blend this area here just to make it a little bit more. Because he wears a fully closed vest. Actually, no, let's leave it that, that for this. Divide, 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 delete lower. 768, Dynamesh. We're gonna, actually, we need to blend that. One, two, three, four, five. Blend this. One, two, three, four, five. Seven. Because this is going to be clothes. Okay. Now. One there. One there. And then we're going to kind of blend, smooth out this area because he wears clothes. He doesn't have his abs visible. Next up comes the sculpting to make the face look a bit more like the person. Now I'm going to pull up the picture. This is who I'm basing it on. The guy down on one knee is big, or large, sorry. The guy to this side over here is medium, and this is his wife, small. And this young lady in the pirate outfit is just someone they're taking a picture with. So, yeah. One well, of the first things you see is that he's large isn't quite as inhumanly massive as the caricature is, but oh well. Next thing is he wears wristbands. I'm going to go ahead and go to inflate. The reason for this is his forearms need to be a little bit thicker along here. Just to pull off the uh, look. Yeah, that's better. Now, we're going to make the wristbands by selecting there and deselecting here. We're just going to extract too thick because this is going to be much larger than my usual 0 0.01. Accept. Draw to get rid of the masking. Go back to him. Draw to get rid of the masking. Now, the geometry, we're going to dynamesh it at 128. We're going to give it one level of polish. And then start, and then subdivide it a little bit. Okay. Next, we're going to do his vest. Let's we look at it. Okay, it's pretty much just a straight down vest, but it's also got a collar. And it's got some deco. He's also got a waist belt. So we're not going to bother with doing anything more than just... Well, let me shrink the mouse. I'm going to go to geometry. We're going to subdivide it one time. Okay, and... stroke or an off symmetry thank you okay good now we're gonna oh, forgot to increase the focal come down around here now 
the neckline is a v-neck i'm gonna come down like that and come down like that Okay, we're going to come up to there, we're going to come up to there, actually let me go ahead and, and then we're going to bring this around back. And then we're going to fill this in here. Check something. Okay. Yeah, I went too far over there. Okay. Yeah. Now we're going to give this a little bit of space and this a little bit of space and this down to there now we're going to extract that out accept draw to get rid of the masking click on him draw to get rid of his masking and then under geometry, we're going to dynamesh it at 256. Okay, then we're going to make the mouse 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, and then we're going to smooth the bottom edge. This is mostly just to make it easier in a few minutes when we subdivide it a couple more times. And actually, merge down. And then we got to go back to geometry, change that to 1024. Okay, now we're going to smooth it again. Okay. And then here, and he, down here, coming up a little bit. Now, we're going to make his belt. We're going to make a, we're going to kind of exaggerate how wide it is. Because again, this is more of a caricature type thing. We look here, you can see he's got what he's got basically what looks like a weightlifter's belt. So it's actually gonna end up being a double belt. We're gonna bring it up a little bit and then down a little bit. And we're gonna extract this. Accept, draw, select him again, draw. Now we're going to take the belt, draw here. We're going to extract that. Actually, no, that's going to be 0 
except we're going to draw to get rid of the masking, draw to get rid of the masking, and then we're going to... Oh, uh, no! Belt stuff? No, not belt stuff. Gemstone. Yeah, because that's where the buckle is. Buzzball, no. And we're going to sit here and add on. Well, wait a minute. I see a problem. Not curve, but depth. Zero, not negative 20. And then we use move to bring it up. I'm gonna rotate it just a little bit. That way. And that gives us our belt. Let me go ahead and split unmasked parts. Back to back to draw. Divide, divide, delete lower. Sub pool. Now we're going to merge down all parts of the belt. Geometry. Dynamase of 1024. Burr. There we go. Now again, looking here, we can see that he's got, it is a little bit looser, you know, and especially down around where it meets the belt. But we still need to make that collar, which does blend in. So what we're going to do, we're going to shrink the mouse quite a bit. We're not going to make it up as large as the one. Oh, yeah. Not going to make it as large as the one he's actually wearing, because that would be kind of goofy. But we're going to make... Or not so much goofy as much as it wouldn't print well. Hmm. Okay, we need to go ahead and... Watch this. Making... Body parts disappear since 2017. Um, there and there. Okay, and then we're gonna bring this around here. And then we're gonna, once again, we're gonna erase some of these areas where it Okay, we're gonna touch up here. And then we're gonna cut it off here and here. Now when we look at it, we see that the collar comes almost straight out from about here. So we're gonna extract 0 0.02, except we're going to draw, we're going to use, actually no, make that 0 0.04, except, draw, draw, we're going to now come up to Geometry, I don't know, is it 128? No, not 128, 256. Let me grab the Move Topological Tool, make it bigger, 
I'm gonna grab that here and move it forward. And then we're gonna play around with the positioning because that was two. No fuzz. And then we gotta grab this one, this corner. Pull it out. Then we're gonna do some fanciness. Deformation. Polish. Five, 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 five. Inflate. Mm -hmm. Geometry, divide, delete lower. And then we're going to hide everything but this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make it sharp. A new fashioned way. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pull this forward some more so we can do this properly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to trim curve. No, it's not working. Where is it? Trim lasso, that's it. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of select the flat top. No. Let's try it this way. There we go. No, not enough. So let's go over here. Okay. There we go. And we're going to go with this move topological. We're going to Okay, we gotta do it with this. Select it all. Split unmasked parts. Okay. And then we go to geometry and we go to modify topologically and we go to close holes. There we go, that's better. That looks better. Subtool, select this and delete it. Now we're going to hide him again and we're going to do something similar, but we're going to do it a lot easier. I'm going to go to here. Trim rectangle. Control shift and we're going to come down like that. Now we go to make him visible, and we got a collar. Okay. No, he hasn't shown up. All right, now we look back here, and we see that the collar kind of comes down with some, with a square neckline, secondary neckline. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to use... Flat seam 16. Now, we're going to start it. Start from here. We're going to start it. Let's see. Is this. Yes. Okay. Geometry. Divide. Okay, and then we're going to make that Dynamesh 1600. Okay. 
We're also gonna have to go to deformation and give it one layer of poly. Well, I'm gonna polish just because I got a issue there. Okay, go back to geometry. Now, we're gonna make the mask smaller, but make it more intense. And we're going to drag down to here, over, up to here. Okay, that's too much. I'm gonna do it from here. Here, over, up. There we go, that's better. And then there's four of those little keyhole shapes on either side. So it's going to be from here. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, and four. Now, I'm going to go ahead and switch the clay buildup tool, switch out the alpha for alpha one. I'm just going to do a little bit of the wrinkles that you can see here. So, that would be one coming from this way, coming from this way, and then we're just going to have it be here. Real quick, mine a little. And we're going to smooth out the front. Smooth out down here. Then we're going to slash. Drop that sub down to about 30, and it's going to be, no, let's turn off Lazy Mouse, drop it down to 14, there we go, that's, that's how deep I want it. Then we're going to switch to add, drop it down to 9. And this goes underneath the... Actually, let's turn Lazy Mouse on for this one. No, no, no. 30. Oh, hi, Spuzzbot. I know you want pettins before you go eat. There you go. And we're going to come down that way, come there, come up this way. We're not going to give it a full barrage of wrinkles because, again, this is more caricature. Plus, it would take forever for sculpting both of them, or all three of them, to this level of detail. Or to, to that level of detail. And we just want to make it you know, remind people this is clothing, not their skin. Okay. Now, I'm going to take a brief sip of soda, and we're going to make his pants.
that we're going to do this is, in the picture, his pants go down to just below the knee. And they're a little baggy there. So we're going to go to the front, just below that, and up to there. And I'm going to extract it at 0 0.01. That's too thick, actually. 0 0.07. Oh, sorry. 0 0.007. Except. Okay, now. We're going to these little things here. Geometry. We're going to dynamesh them at 512. We're going to smooth them out before we, di before we dynamize them. Okay, and then here. Now I'm going to dynamesh them at 512. No, not at 512. At 1024. No, geometry. Let's go ahead and divide it by one more. We lower. Merge down. Draw. Okay. Now we're going to smooth out the tops of these legs. Turn them into pants. We go back to seam 16 and we're going to oh, wrong way. Come this way around the legs. Because what we're going to do is we're going to make it baggier above the seam. as if that little hem there is keeping it tight right around the knee area. We're going to do that with the inflate tool. A bit bigger. Actually, before we do, we're also going to come in and mask off that area just below. Now we're going to Okay, now frame out so we can see. And there we have our basic outfit for him. We still need to give him his hair. Um, we need to make his toesies visible and we need to detail his hands. But in just over half an hour, that's not too bad. So at this rate, we should be at least mostly done with the other two as well. Okay, we're going to drop this down about there. No, there. 
One, two, three, four, and then there, and then one, two, ni, 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 and bring across. Okay. Get over there, Shinju. Good girl. And this hand. It's gonna be... smoothing. I'll really need for making those hands look more detailed. Okay. Now we're not going to give him facial hair because, well, to be honest, while he does and does not have facial hair at different times, it's a little irregular. So we're going to go to move top, or go to move, not move topological, move. Also, we're going to turn that on. Make it a little bit bigger. And I'm going to just simply give him a bit of a smile. Bring that down a little bit. And up in the center. Are you in here? No, you are not. Okay. Anyway. We need to give him hair. So we're going to select his head on only his head. Zoom in. Zoom out. Unhide. Now. As we see in the picture, he's got pretty much his hair is pulled back into a top knot. The problem is that top knot will be inside the bowl of the goblet. So what we're going to do instead... <coughs> We're just going to give him a very thin layer of sweat back hair. I'm going to standard, shrink down that mouse. We're going to use it to draw on his hairline. there up there and then I'm gonna fill it all in once we've done this the only thing left to do would be to add in some well, I guess you could call them notional toes. Okay. Now, this will be extract 0 0.01, extract, accept. Raw. Raw. Geometry. Dynamash. And we're going to subdivide it a couple times and then kind of smooth out the bottom edges. Okay. 
Okay. Then we're going to slash. Subtract. Shrink it. Increase it. Then we're going to kind of come back. It needs to be a little bit bigger. We need to subdivide it a bit more. And we need to make it a little bit stronger. You'll notice that we're just making broad strokes for the hair. That's because that's what we're doing. That needs to be smoothed out. And then just Again, keep in mind his top, where his top knot would be will be inside the goblet. Just to show you, bam. Okay, next up we'll be adding the toesies, like I said. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, damn standard tool. And let me zoom in, move up, make sure we got him selected, not his hair. Draw to get rid of the masking. And then we're just going to draw on the big toe. And then one, two, three. Just notional feet. Draw on the big or notional toes. Draw on the big toe. And then one, two, three. There we go. Got his toes he's done. And that is large. We're gonna merge them all down with all the rest of his parts. We're going to draw. Click. Bam. He's fused into one piece. That's him. Now we're going to... Well, this to show. The next thing we're going to do is actually going to be kind of something we're not going to have to do with any of the others. I'm going to move this up. And I'm going to duplicate it. Okay, then I'm going to turn off the one I just duplicated, turn this on. Now, that is the peg that is going to fit into the feet of Mr. Yatsyats. We're going to make it transparent. Now, with deformation, we're going to inflate just a little. Alright, and the reason for that is now, you click here, let's go ahead and make it transparent, so we can see that there is a gap around the bottom of that peg. Alright, now we have this set with the crescent moon. We're going to do geometry, dynamesh, just to make sure. And then deformation. No, we don't need to deform. Uh, polygroups, that was it. Group as dynamesh sub. Sub tool, select him. 
merge down. And then we click draw. And it's going to subtract that from him. So the end result is we'll have a hole for the peg in his feet. Right there. And if we look at it, we'll see that we can see a visible gap there. That's because of the tolerances of the printer. Okay. Now, we've got him done. Do we want to do medium or small next? And we also have that. Anyone? Anyone? No. This also means that technically you could rotate that base at any angle and it would fit under his feet. That just happens to be the one I drew it at. Okay, so. I've also made, it's hard to tell, the area immediately surrounding where his feet go is kind of flattened out right there so actually that's right I forgot to do this this bit Okay, there we go. Now, we're going to do one of the two other acrobats next. And nobody's speaking up. Uh, give me just a second, actually. Just a moment. Okay. Sorry, I had a uh, private, uh, personal uh, thingy. What's it call it? Thingy going. This, this, this stuff in the in the thing in the in the what you call it. So now we're gonna go ahead and go back to ping here. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and do small next, just because. Okay, now. One of the first things we're going to do is to make small, I added a bit of elf to my basic human figure. So we kind of need to get rid of that. I'm going to go to the standard brush. We're going to smooth the ear. That's going to give us, it, it's going to shrink it for us. It's not going to make it round and human again. For that, we're going to need move. And we're dropping that down quite a bit. All right, now grab the corner, move it in. Grab the corner, move it in. Now we're making it a little bit bigger. Grab the side and move it down. Grab the side and move it down. And then we're going to use the slash tool. Make sure that we turn off the lazy mouse and drop this back down to about. 11 make that actually make that like 8 and we're going to use the mouse in the correct orientation or the tablet all right let me make sure that I have okay symmetry is not turned on
Okay, we also need to cut here, like that. Okay. Now. Okay. We're not getting a very great result here because it's all been done manually. I was going to pull that in just a little. He's human, not Alvin, so I was going to undo the uh, overblown eye and the exotic tilt. Shrink this. Okay. And we're going to move that in. to give her a smirk we also need to do this because the actual young lady is not built like a typical D&D &D figure Nor is she have such huge lats. She is a rather slender and graceful young lady. That's a bit more feminine. Okay. Frame out. Now we also need to shrink her ankles a bit because yeah. So we're gonna go to inflate, make it bigger, and we're gonna hold down alt and Deflate where her ankles should be, and a little bit up above, and a little bit behind, and then we're going to smooth. Once again, this is all mostly for almost a cartoony build so we don't need to get perfectly biologically accurate we just didn't want anything as immensely large as those angles were now we're going to subdivide it a couple times one two three delete lower dynamash one oh two four dynamash yeah and then one layer of subdivision Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at what she's wearing in the picture. Okay, a vest with a little bit of lacing across the chest area itself. That vest goes to just below the bottom of her rib cage. 
or, or no, or not quite below. Oh. Like in that gap between the bottom of the of the breast and the t and the bottom of the rib cage, so about there. So, with its with her selected, we go back to standard. Shrink it a little bit more again. Oh, by the way, we're going to close this. We're going to draw on the entirety of the vest. This is small enough that we can just extract it as a single object. Okay. We're going to draw it across here. Let's turn off the goblet part. Okay, how, what kind of, no, what kind of neckline and shoulder line, okay. Shoulder line's kind of close, gonna come from under here. Okay. Okay. Neckline comes down and across and up. But was that rounded? Uh, it's not technically rounded, but that's because there's a second piece of cloth underneath. Okay. And that will do with the slash, to, with the seam tool. And we gotta clean that. Okay. Now, it currently is what time? 8.35, okay, good. We still have an hour left. And scoot to this. And here. Now, this is going to be extract point zero zero eight. Accept, draw, select her. So I'll select him, draw, now back to the back to the vest. We're going to geometry. We're going to dynamics at 256. We're going to subdivide it. Well, it's around, yeah, probably that will do. Frame in. And with the, uh, the move brush, oh, way too big. We're going to zoom it in. And we're going to smooth out the, the, uh, this area right here just to emphasize that there's no cleavage visible in this outfit. Now we're going to go back for the seam brush. And that's going to be coming. Oh, no. Down and rounded. And then around and up. Yeah, there we go. Now we're going to use the move to the move topological tool a little bit bigger. I'm going to grab here and pull it out and 
even it out with the rest of the chest. Okay. Now we look again and we see that there's that lacing that comes all the way down. Okay, so what we're going to do once again using the seam brush. We're going to start here. And we're going to come down and come around this way and come up except that's too strong drop that from a 20 intensity to a 14 intensity okay now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the damn standard brush, this time set it to add. We're also going to, up here, we're going to mark, we're going to mask off this area. They're going to come this down, bring this down. Turn, tilt a little bit. Undo the mask there. Turn, tilt again. And undo the mask there. Now, we're just going to sit here and draw these shapes mirror 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 draw then we're going to curve tube shrink this down we're going to that oh yeah that's right let's change that embed to 50 okay so we're going to start from down here okay we're going to split that to un split unmasked points Tap to get rid of the thing. Click that, and we're going to move it. Grab this, this over here. Don't do that. Okay, then we're going to subdivide it a little bit. frame out. You can see it's at least giving the impression. Now the next thing is we're going to do a little bit more on that vest just to give it a bit more of a uh, look similar to what she's wearing. And one of the things that we're going to do for that is we're going to put a seam making it look like her shoulders have a little cheeky bit coming out and then we're going to come up like that come down like that and then there and there frame out Not exact, but it's recognizable. Now we add in the knot down here. Okay, and what we're going to do for that is very simple. We're going to go to the insert gemstone, select the knot, make sure the embed is at zero. 
we're going to just draw that in. We're then going to split on mass points. Geometry Dynamic. No. 512 Dynamic. No. Actually, Deformation Inflate. Okay. Geometry Dynamic. Nope. 1024 Dynamic. Frame out. Oh. 1600. Now we're going to shrink the mouse and we're going to smooth the surface of each of these paths. here we're going to go back to the uh, sam standard tool go back to sub and drop the intensity a little bit and drop the size a little bit and what we're going to do is just simply sit here and Still too big. Cut it in deeper. That so retains the look of a knot. subtract down here just to kind of blend that out that's just to give it that look of having a knot there okay now her unlike large her trousers tend to be kind of tight we're only going to be putting a little seam and a couple wrinkles uh, seam at the waist kind of a high waist and then another seam just again just below the knees down here and then we're just going to add on just a couple wrinkles then it'll be hands and feet seats and then hair and what we're going to do is we're going to tilt it back kind of there we're going to select and mask off up to there no yeah there we go to there and Let's call it there. Okay. Then oh, then we also have to do our belt. Okay, extract. Accept. Draw. Click here again, draw. Okay. Now, geometry, dynamic, 256. Actually, no. We don't want a dynamic yet because of the way that the legs fit.
Actually, let me go to inflate subtract. Whoa, too strong. Let's drop that down though, too. Okay, now. Okay, now we're going to Dynamax it at, at 512. And we're going to drape across here. Okay, now let's move out the top right there. We're going to subdivide it a couple times. Go back up to her. Merge down. Oh, and Dynamash at 124. Shrink this and smooth out here and here There we go, pants. Let it here. Now, the belt is shown as being low slung on the hips, possibly tipping down a little bit low. So we're going to tilt the hips back there and draw it here. Okay, that's good enough. Except we're going to give it a subdivision. Yeah, so low slung on the hips. Hanging low. No. There. Yeah, that's good. And the belt buckle appears to be a normal buckle, so we can just give it a regular. Insert gemstone buckle. There. Split unmasked points, select the buckle, geometry, divide a couple times, delete lower. Frame out. Okay, now what does she have on her arms? Anything? No. She does have bare feet and hair. So what we gotta do now, we gotta make her feet and wrinkles and detail the hands a little. 
Not as much as we will on the two males, but still. So we go back up to her. And we're just going to draw a couple wrinkles around the uh, hip area and on the back of the knee. That's going to be back to our clay buildup brush. Shrink it down a couple and make it a little bit more intense. And we're going to just kind of And then we're going to smooth over the ends of these. Something similar down here. Once again, smoothing out the ends of them. And then just kind of a uh, the reason for the shape of these wrinkles is how pants bend in the back. These aren't active wrinkles. These are wrinkles that have built up over repeated bendings of the knees. Okay. Now, we're going to drape a draw across the, the top of each of these with a smooth and hit and one. And now we're going to slash. The sub, we're going to make this 16. And it's going to be draw at the bottom of each of these wrinkles. Again, we don't need a boatload of wrinkles. Number one, it's tight clothing, not heavy bags. And number two, we don't want to disturb from the slightly humorous caricature style where things are more of an impression. Okay, and then we're going to smooth over those in the back because, again, they're not active wrinkles. They're just the way it's kind of relaxing. Now we're going to get an add, drop it down to 8. I'm going to come in this way. And down here. We want to try and make the sharp point of each of these wrinkles near the bottom of the wrinkle. Okay, now. Pretty much all that's left is her hair, and then she will be done. Oh, her hair and her toes is, is, is since we're currently doing slash, I'm gonna make it sub. No, we were using damn standard, I think. Yeah, we were using damn standard on her on their toes. Shrink this down. Okay, I'm then going to take the inflate tool and kind of just ever so slightly inflate. Oh, 
Oh. Inflate her big toe. On both sides. Just to make it clear that is a toe. Okay. Now let me get some soda and we'll do her hair. Click on the head, zoom in, unclick, zoom out. Okay, we're also going to go ahead with the slash tool and increase the intensity a little bit. We're going to just kind of refine the, the facial features real quick. Got to come. In the, whoop. Need a slight bit under the nose. We need to completely. Redo the mouth. And then we need to come around the eyes. Oh, no. Come around this way. Come around here. Okay, now, her hair. What's her hairline look like? Okay, she's got a little bit of a tuft going to her left. Yeah, her left on top, but the most of the rest of it appears to be pulled back into a top knot. I think that's a top knot. It's a middle, it's a mid knot back here. Either way, it's going to be mostly the... Beer, beer, beer. We're gonna do the additional top knot last, or, or tufts last. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do is yeah, let's go ahead and uh just like sharpen that. Extract accept draw click her or click her and draw and then we're going to come back in here and on the hair before we do anything else we're going to mark off where her top knot is or back knot or ponytail whatever extract no. Make that 0 0.05 extract. Accept, draw, draw. The reason for this is that is going to be the top knot. Okay, now we're going to do Dynamesis at 128. And we're going to subdivide it a bit. And we're going to draw in our slashes. with the top knot part visible and made transparent. There we go. And we're going to come around and just kind of make this a bit more intense.
Oops. There we go. Now we're going to hide the hair here. We're going to draw on just a bit here. Make into our tuft. Geometry. Dynamesh. Divide, divide, divide. Then we're going to go to move. Gonna move it back up into there. We're gonna pull it out a bit. And then we're going to go to what's called the snake hook. There. We're gonna use that to draw out. Oh, that's too big. All our little tufts. Then we're going to inflate this. Or well, first we're going to subdivide it a bit. And dynamish it at 512. Then subdivide it again. Focus in. Zoom out. Subdivide it again. Delete lower. Deformation inflate. Then to slash. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw... there and here frame out okay now move tool I'm gonna grab it and kind of pull pull it out like that Just enough to make it look like tufts that went, that got free. And now it's time to mess with the ponytail area. And this is going to go ahead and we're going to dynamesh this majorly. And we're going to switch to the snake hook. We're going to make it bigger. I'm just going to grab it. First of all, subdivide a bit so we kinda, I can see it moving better. And second of all, we're going to kind of grab it up here and pull it down. Then move. Make it bigger. Grab it from the top and move it up. And then inflate. Now, subdivide a couple times, delete lower. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and fuse her and all of her parts.
um, frame out. Now let's see how it's looking so far. All that's left is medium. And then whatever else on the bowl that the customer wants. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and zoom out just a little bit more, turn on dynamic. I'm not going to have enough time to even really begin on medium before I'll have to leave. Cut. Hello, Carlton. <clears throat> because I have to go this evening a little early and go take care of my brother, his wife, and his dog for about half an hour. And he lives BFE. Baby boy. What you doing, baby boy? Huh? What you doing? Let me put you down. And I gotta go. Shoot. Now, I'm gonna go ahead. I, I go to render. And I'm gonna go to best. Okay. And I'm gonna hit print screen. Then I'm gonna go to render and go to preview. I'm also going to go to save as. And this is under Commissions, Acrobats, and this will be Goblet C Tool. Okay. Now let me go ahead and pop back to here. I know it's only been an hour and a half, or a little over an hour and a half, but we do what we do. We do, do what we got to do. Say what we got to say. Live how we want to live. Play how we want to play. You know, like, like MC Hammer said in that song. But with 20 minutes left, there's no way I could have really done much for medium. Especially since he's got the wide open vest with chest hair. To the point where they actually will joke about and exaggerate the chest hair. To the point where we might even want to make it a bit unnatural. Just as a joke. You know? But anyway. What I'm doing right now is I'm taking that screenshot. Like as I said, I took print screen. And, I'm and I am isolating it down to just our, our little goblet. Now, Control Shift E, Control Shift S, and this goes under Commissions, Acrobats, Goblet, Work in Progress 5. Close. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. So I'm going to do the usual where I hold my hand up and say something, you know, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, say something goofy and then poop. Ooh, my screen just went white. That's not good. Okay. Anyway, I gotta wait for my refresh screen to go. Bye. There we go. Close that. Now, I hold my hand up, and then it's going to be a. F well, when I see my hand. What in the. Yeah, that's definitely. I've already lost some. That's some serious lag. I hold my hand up, and I'm going to count from five to one. The second I see my hand up there and, and does the the, 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 the raisey of the handy 
I'm going to drop my countdown. Okay, so that is going to be five, four, three, two, one. Why is it gob let and not gob allow? Hmm? <laughs>